guys, what's up? Um, in this video, I'm just basically gonna go over some miscellaneous things that we didn't touch on. Um, two things particularly. Uh, one being construction, where that's at, where that's going. Um, basically because that's gonna be a large part of Carbon's purpose. And uh, without knowing that, kind of doesn't make sense. So essentially, right now, we've kind of got these bucky balls that are on. You can see they kind of move around on like a grid, but their behavior is just not. It's not as I'd like them to be. Basically, and that's what's going on with that right now. Um. At some point, these may not even be spheres, they may be blocks, I'm not sure. I just wanted to give the players some some way of like altering the uh, landscape. Not just altering it, but adding to it, because there's a few other ways they can do it, which is part of what I wanted to talk about as well. Um, so basically these guys are in development right now um, let's go find on your mini map or your radar or whatever you'd like to call it you'll see black dots and they like look like these kind of like goldish black particles well if you hit these guys with your ion beam you can make them expand Actually, I think right now they won't kill you if it touches you, but it will in the future, so don't touch it. So basically, you can make these guys expand, and if you can get them large enough, aka don't run out of energy or die or get shot or whatever, will probably happen. Somebody just fall on your face. <sighs> fight about it. Oh, it will shrink, so you gotta keep... Well, you don't have to keep charging it. It, it, it takes a while to shrink. That was a bad view. I'll have to find another one. Um, so essentially, if you make them large enough, they become black holes that will then absorb the surrounding area and turn into what is basically a portal object. These portal objects are in development. Um, I'm not sure if I want to make it like an actual scene load um, because the options are essentially um, slowly building another level behind the scene because these are procedurally generated or loading a new level entirely and uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure what the resources are gonna be like on trying to do it like trying to sneak it by while everything else is happening um, well that's something I've got to investigate so let me find it so you can get a good view since your vision was obscured last time. I should maybe like put some sort of mechanism that like warns you like it's gonna happen maybe like a sudden contraction so essentially what a player can do is hop from like I don't know if we wanna I don't know what type of lore we want to have on them but what type of you know writings we want to have about it but essentially what a player can do is hop from dimension to dimension 
opening new portals and like gathering materials and stuff like that and portals to other dimensions like if I can't get you excited by portals with other dimen or two other dimensions then I don't know maybe it'd be better maybe maybe if this doesn't excite you it'll excite you when it looks better because we will have to get some people to do the art like I am not an artist and I guess since I just saw him we'll talk about the things that the enemy drops when you kill him or we can just let them kill themselves So, these are the water pickups, this is how you get water, and as I said before, you can't regenerate water, so you've actually got to go get it. These guys here are the carbon pickups. This is basically, this is what you use to create the construction objects and use the carbon um, projectile. And then this is the, um, I picked it up, but what you were looking at, this is the salt pickup. It's like the prefab for salt. And you pick those up to replenish your salt. Um, salt ammunition and actually I think this would be a good video to talk to you guys about contraction and expansion because you may have noticed that these cells they'll get smaller and bigger and we've got like we've got at least two minutes left and so basically what that's about is you can also do that by holding the X key and this will allow you to get much smaller and it will not only allow you to dodge things easier but it will allow you to traverse um, underneath cavernous like terrain and get around a lot more safely than you would out in the open and it will sometimes even help you climb um, just because the relativity of your size like becomes flatter the relativity but yeah so that's the contraction is basically you can make yourself smaller by holding the X um, key down which is advantageous in both combat and travel I think I don't know it may or may not cost energy in the future because it is that um, that much more advantageous to be a smaller target. I'm not sure about that one. Not yet. Let's see. I think we covered everything I would call the miscellaneous information. Oh, it would be interesting to note that the carbon discs actually like their damage when they hit another object is based on their angular velocity so like sometimes if you sometimes you can do more damage if you like hit them from a ricochet as opposed to hit them directly but they've also got very like they damage uh, they have a high variance of damage. Alright, I think that covers this video guys. If I can think of anything else, I'll make another video. Or I will start working on the... Either the portals or the arcade mode, I haven't decided yet.